Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 11th, 2019. So, hey guys, it's good to be back. Um, had a great time at the Money Show in Vegas, and um, let's kick off this morning video and see what we've got going on here. First, let's take a look at the diamonds. If we, whoops, if we take a look at the Dow, as you can see, um, we had uh, record highs. Everyone probably knows this more than I did. Record high close on Friday after a gap down pushing back up. The bulls have been very, very strong, holding up in this really strong pattern. But we've had just this angst around um, the possible trade deal where uh, China says one thing and, and uh, something else comes from the president and we get quite a little bit of movement around. Now this morning, the bears act as if they want to claw back a good portion of Friday's gain. And as you can see, we're looking at a gap down this morning that will move us back down here, possibly into this gap. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. I think uh, the good news is overall is because today is Veterans Day and the banks are closed, we're likely going to see lighter than normal volume, probably choppy price action with all the banks closed. So if there was a day for this to occur, today would probably be a good day for that because it may be difficult for the bears to follow through to push this on down uh, considering the holiday today. There just may not be enough activity. But one thing I do have to say, if we look at this technically, we're still in pretty good shape. Even though we had this gap up and we could see a pullback maybe to fill that gap, as long as that holds, I think we're okay. Even if we were to slip down into here and hold that as support, I still think we're okay here on the diamonds. Just notice our moving averages are still considerably far away from price and we may still have to rise up here, uh, get them moving up before we really find that support in here to move us on higher. But so far, um, this pullback obviously disappointing coming um, over a weekend. That's always disappointing to see that. That reversal during the weekend it's one of the things I talk about quite a little bit about being careful taking some profits into the weekend because we can get these um, nasty little reversals in the weekend but hopefully it will hold itself up and won't turn into a big bearish move let's take a look at the spy SPY closing new record high. As a matter of fact, the SPY really the most confident of the market on Friday, looking strong overall. Now this morning we're looking at a pullback, not as substantial as that of the, the Dow, but you can see pulling back um, a good portion of that Friday rally and still holding up okay. We're holding up in this little support area and I think that I'm gonna put that right across here. Notice we're holding trend really, really well. So this pullback really doesn't hurt us all that much just yet unless those bears get, uh, get the energy to really break us down below this level. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, um, overall but we'll watch that pretty closely today keep in mind trends are strong although we are pretty darn elevated and that could be a reason the bears could gain some energy is we're really stretched out in this run and we may need a little more rest or consolidation to um, provide a lot of these averages to come up and provide some support let's take a look at the cues Q is very, very strong on Friday as well, holding up very nicely. And as you can see, we're gonna pull back about, well, not quite half of that move this morning here on the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ's holding up quite well this morning. And as long, I think as long as we hold above this support level, we're gonna be in pretty good shape. And I, I'll be honest with you, I think it would be a surprise that there would be enough energy in the bulls on a holiday like this, or bears on the holiday like this to actually shove that on through unless we get some kind of further news that um, would suggest trade uh, continues to um, 
be very challenged. We'll wait and see. But right now, trends are good. Everything is holding up very, very well here. So I think we're in pretty good shape overall. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, um, this is one of the first times IWM has really shown some strength here in, a, you know, over a year um, in, um, in the market right now. I'm a little tongue-tied this morning, I guess. I'm just coming back from Vegas. So, as you can see, we're we're holding a support level here we broke through there and hold it held it as support after holding the downtrend so we moved up held that downtrend as support in here rallied up above that resistance we held it as support now this morning we're showing a little bit of a challenge to that we're pulling back but so far um what it looks like is we're going to hold on to that support at least at the open that's going to be really important here i think for iwm to hang in there on that and notice right here that we're finally getting the 50 trying to cross back up through that 200 so we may start getting a little bit of help here but i do want to point out it's just how far away we are from some of these averages if there's any kind of a rest or pullback that it might actually be a healthy move for the market let's take a look at the vix that vix this morning I'm going to switch charts here on you. The VIX um, on Friday was looking very, very uh, uh, strong here. We just had no fear in the market whatsoever. When I say strong, I meant by no fear. And we were pushing back down here toward this support level um, in the market. And that's a pretty substantial support level, as you can see, in that price action. So this morning with that bearish move, I would expect to see this spiking up a little bit. But I think as long as we don't break above that downtrend, I think we're going to be uh, in perfect shape. And we actually have a resistance level right in here. So we could move even above that and still be in really good shape here as long as that fear doesn't really start to spike um, I think we're okay now one thing I will mention again is that we we may have a little bit of complacency built into the market so that complacency always gives me a little bit of worry when we're kind of stretched out at these highs but we'll watch that close and again I don't think uh, this morning's pullback is really all that bearish just yet. We'll just have to wait and see if there's more follow through to that downside move. So let's take a look at um, T2122. And T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, this may have been a clue here on Friday to um, that reversal. And one of the things that um, we saw here on Friday is that we we actually pulled back. We barely got a move here in T2122. And so what that would suggest is that the move on Friday wasn't all that broad based and that it was just key stocks really pushing the indexes higher. Sometimes that can be a bit of an institutional manipulation when they do that, when they push a few stocks like that to get that new record high print. But we'll have to wait and see. But it might have been a little bit of clue that the rally on Friday was not all that broad based and could have signaled um, a little bit of concern going into the weekend. But other than that, T2122 is telling us that we have uh, pulled back nicely in here. In fact, we're getting really close to the 50 level right in here, which means we have plenty of upside room to be able to move through. Now, this morning's gap down is likely going to push us down below that 50% or that 50 line, which means that we still, if those bears come in, we still have considerable downside moves that, that we could uh, push lower if uh, they find some energy. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, how that how that progresses you know the trade war issues um maybe some recessionary fears a little bit of flare up again in hong kong protesters just those uncertainties really starting to stir up here today um, if there was a day for this to happen uh, uh, a national holiday where the banks are closed maybe one of the better days for that because we're likely going to see light and choppy price action as a result of the banks being closed today so i'm not sure those bull or bears will really be able to 
to gain a whole lot of traction this morning. But we'll have to, um, as always, just stay very, very focused on price action. With that, let's take a look at what we have going on in our economic calendar. And as you can see, our economic calendar, with it being uh, Veterans Day, there is nothing, and nothing, nothing in here at all. And I just want to shout out to all of the veterans. Um, for those of us who have served, this is an important day. And for those of you who have served um, in uh, wars and other things, I just want to uh, shout out to all of you guys and, and, and ladies that have served in the military. Um, thank you very much for your service. You know, we, we live in the, the greatest country um, on this planet, for sure, uh, with the freedoms and things that we have here. And um, that wasn't free. As we all know who, who have served, um, that wasn't free. So to everyone who is a veteran, thank you for your service. We truly, truly appreciate that. Let's take a look um, at a few stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, um, let me just take a, a second here. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then click that bell icon when it pops up. You know, these videos are not designed, I don't do any of the kind of things that you might see in other places that just do a whole bunch of hype, a whole bunch of prediction as to what's going to happen and giving unrealistic ideas of where the market's going to go. What I try to really do is focus in on what the price action is actually showing me, the, the, the support, the resistance, the trends, the, how the averages are reacting, and the real technicals of the chart because the truth of the matter is there's too many things out there for us to really predict where the market is going to, to go the best we can do is really focus in on the clues that price leaves behind and if you guys find this helpful if you could make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment you know i want to say thank you to everyone who does that you guys are awesome even while i was gone in vegas um, uh, um, subscriber numbers continue to go grow so i want to say thank you to all of you because it's it's those comments and those responses that are helping this channel continue to grow and i truly truly appreciate that you guys are awesome so with that let's take a look at a few stocks that i've been kind of paying attention to and watching one of them being unh and unh um, popped last week you can see we've had this nice little consolidation in here and i was kind of watching this level right here as a possible entry point uh, being gone i didn't get into this trade hopefully some of you did this is a nice little move where we've rallied broke through this resistance, held it as support, and then those buyers popping up in here. Now today we could see a little bit of a pullback in that, but I think as long as this rests up in this area, I think this still has upside potential. So let's keep an eye on that UNH. Pretty nice looking chart overall. Um, let's take a look at um, John Deere. Now, John Deere's been holding up really, really well, holding up strong in this move, as you can see, holding its trend very cleanly. And I think this little resting consolidation over here toward the trend may have an opportunity to set up a move. Now, keep in mind, this morning we could see with this bearishness, this actually pull back into here. As long as it doesn't break that support, I think we may still be okay, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely you know um, it's always hard coming back after a few days um, like this off and really feeling competent on what I'm looking at so please every everyone keep in mind that every time um, I point out a video or point out a stock in this video that they are meant as a study video they are meant for a watch list they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security okay so kind of keep that in mind but I think we still have a really good pattern going on here in John Deere um, how about Halliburton I was looking here and Halliburton is looking very very good 
uh, moving up nicely, Halliburton breaking through resistance, holding that support. Nice bullish candle on Friday. Now we're going to get some pullback in here, um, looks like today. But if Halliburton can hold above this support and hold on to this trend, so any rest or pullback into that trend may still provide an opportunity for an upside move. Might want to keep an eye on Halliburton. Now this is one of those stocks that is trying to break this overall downtrend you can see on Friday pop through that downtrend now we could draw it like this where we're just testing that downtrend and you can see right in here we've got all of these technicals maybe providing us a little bit of information so a little bit of rest or pullback won't hurt this stock we just need enough energy to push right on through that level and if we take a look at this this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern now the RBB pattern is one of my favorite patterns to trade overall and this pattern is is a nice move breaking through that 50 holding that 50 as support moving on through breaking through that resistance and holding that and what I'd be looking for is target levels up in here target levels up in here and then all the way up here to the 200 day moving average so a target level up in here that's just that reversal back up after a big move down and if you take a look at this stock uh, closely you can kind of see this head and shoulders pattern that may have uh, been formed with our neckline right through here so if this can rest out and push on through there may be that opportunity so keep an eye on that stock it's been looking pretty good Foot Locker is one of those stocks that was in a rounded bottom breakout pattern and you can see this stock has virtually completed that move so just to give you an idea what that move looks like we break above and hold and then we start moving through and we attack these different levels and I've been pointing out foot lock locker for some time here in right way options you can see filling this gap up into here and moving toward that 200 day moving average and that's really the completion of the RBB uh, pattern overall um, how about 3M? Now 3M is an interesting stock to me just simply because it has been so far pushed down and you can see 3M also breaking this 50 day, holding it as support, moving on up toward that 200. This is kind of an interesting stock to me when I look at it on a longer term. There still may be, this is a weekly chart, there still may be some opportunity here uh, for that to move a little bit higher, but notice that 50 day moving average on the weekly still declining. This has a lot of work yet to do. So there may be some upside move here after this little consolidation, but we're going to want to watch that 200 day moving average pretty closely could provide some potential resistance in that chart take a look at JB hunt now JB hunt I've talked about many many times this is a different pattern as you can see but JB hunt holding this trend moving on up nicely we do have resistance in this chart to be concerned about right now we'll have to watch and see if JB can push on through but there's this nice little consolidation move that I had alerted and we've moved right up into that resistance holding on to that trend so keep an eye on that as we deal with this resistance up here in the chart to see if we can push on through so everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen this video please make sure and click that subscribe button I want to wish you all a great day this may be kind of an odd day kind of we may see a lot of light choppy price action after this morning rush initial reaction uh, this morning and then we may see some light and choppy price action uh, throughout the day just due to the fact that the, the banks are closed and this is a national holiday so with that everyone i want to wish you all the best have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early tuesday morning have a good one